Hello everybody and welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm showing guys how to build a simple Jeb door with Torch Key. Now this thing works exactly like a Jeb door. It is flush to the wall so no one knows there is a secret door here. However, instead of having the Torch Key off to the side, like maybe over here or maybe down here, it goes right off the Jeb door itself. So right here is my Jeb door. So if I place my torch right off this block here, as you can see, my Jeb door opens up. I can go ahead and go inside of it. And then on this side, obviously you can have whatever you want, secret chest room, just secret room, whatever you really want. And then if we click this button it will close up behind us so no one knows there's a secret room here and then when we're ready to leave just click the button once again walk outside of our secret jeb door and then just place your torch back on top of your torch key just like that so this build is actually extremely easy guys there's really not much to this redstone as you can see all it literally is is just a simple torch key down here with a jeb door all right guys so for this build we're going to need a seven by five spacing and then off the bottom right corner over here we're going to need a five by three spacing and dig down three now this area is just for your torch key because the entire jeb door is above ground so i don't think you guys really need to dig out this entire seven by five spacing now the resources needed for this build are 13 sticky pistons one piston four redstone repeaters one redstone comparator two blocks of redstone 16 redstone dust one button we're also going to need one piece of sand one furnace four stone slabs or whatever slabs you really want to use a torch to open up and close our door some blocks to put our redstone down on and then some blocks of choice i'm going to be using smooth sandstone and white stained clay as my walling so once you've gotten your seven by five spacing come to the bottom left hand corner to our five by three spacing and we're going to go ahead and do our torch key first and then our jeb door second so coming off our five by three spacing right here, come to the bottom left hand corner and count over one block, one, put a block right here with a sticky piston on top of it, and then a block of choice on top of your sticky piston. Now that's gonna be our torch key right there. Next to the left hand side of your sticky piston, we're gonna go ahead and put a furnace right here. Go inside your furnace and place any item you really want to. I'm gonna go ahead and use a piece of redstone dust. Then to the right hand side of your sticky piston, we're gonna come down here and put a block next to this piston and put a comparator coming out of this block. As you can see, the comparator does come on because it is sending a signal from our furnace into our comparator. Then right underneath our comparator down here, we're gonna put a block of redstone with a piece of redstone dust on top of it. This should make our sticky piston extend and then put a block on top of your redstone dust. Then coming off the block above your redstone dust, we're gonna take out our sticky pistons once again and put one facing downwards. Then in front of this downward facing sticky piston, we're gonna go ahead and place another redstone block like that. And that's it guys, that's our whole entire toggleable torch key. So if I place a redstone torch or even a piece of redstone dust next to this block, it will update this piston, pushing it down. So if we place a torch here, as you see, it goes down, it toggles. And then if I put a redstone torch on top of it, it will close it. And that's the entire torch key guys. I told you this thing's gonna be very simple. So let's go ahead and pick up all these redstone torches. So to start things off with your Jeb door, what I want you to do is put a block to the left-hand side of this sticky piston that's facing downwards. And then we're gonna put two sticky pistons facing towards us on top of this block. So one, two, just like that. And then one facing towards us off the right-hand side of this sticky piston as well. Next, what I want you to do is face towards the front and put two more sticky pistons facing inwards towards the front. Now, just to get technical guys, you don't need these two sticky pistons down here. This is just for aesthetics to make the door look nicer, but these two sticky pistons right here do absolutely nothing. Just to show you what I mean, if I go over here to my door that's already built and open it up, these pistons right here, this one does absolutely nothing. However, if you have a block here like this, it kind of looks bad. So I went ahead and just added two more sticky pistons there. But if you don't care how your build looks, then you can go ahead and do this and you don't have to waste two sticky pistons. Now, before we move on guys, just make sure your torch key is closed. So just place a torch here and make sure it is closed right now because it's just gonna get in the way while we're building this. So right in front of these sticky pistons, take out your blocks of choice and place two blocks of choice just like that. And now we're gonna do the same thing we did here on this side. So right off of these blocks right here, we're gonna place four sticky pistons, one, two, three, four, and then place two facing forwards, just like a normal Jeb door, guys. As you see, it's just like a normal Jeb door, and then put two blocks of choice in front of them. So to start things off with your Jeb door, what I want you to do is put a cap above your Jeb door. So pretty much just go like this and break blocks along the whole entire top of your Jeb door, just like so. Now to start things off with the redstone, what I want you to do is put two pieces of redstone dust right back here above your door, and then put two repeaters facing one this way and one this way, both on three ticks delay. And then put two pieces of redstone dust in front of both of your three tick delay repeaters, one here and one here as well. And that's your entire Jeb door completely wired up. So if I place any power going to these two pieces of redstone dust, our Jeb door should close and open up. So if I place a torch here, our Jeb door closes. 
and then if i take it away our jab door opens up so now all we have to do is just hook the power down here from this block of redstone to right up here so to get things started off guys what want you do is come right down here to this block of redstone that this sticky piston is pushing down and put a block right next to it with a piece of redstone dust on top of it then right next to this redstone dust going this way we're going to put a slab upside down and put another piece of redstone dust here then put another slab upside down next to this extending sticky piston right here with a piece of redstone dust like that and then put another slab upside down off this sticky piston facing upwards like that with another piece of redstone dust right here once you got on your slab ladder put in put a block right next to this redstone dust like so with a piece of redstone dust on top of it and then put another block going this way with a repeater coming out of the redstone dust on one tick delay then we're going to go ahead and take out our blocks of choice and place one two just like that and put redstone dust on top of both of them and that's our entire jeb door and torch key completely hooked up together so we go right over here to the front and we place a torch on top of our torch key the jeb door will close and if we place it again the jeb door will open up and you are completely done now all you have to do is just add the button on the inside and then the entire build will be completely done so right over here in this back corner what we're going to do is just skip one block from the sticky piston place a block here and put a button off this block then we're going to do is just dig out this little area right here once you got in this little area dug out we're going to bring the power from this button over to this block right here now we have to add a monostable circuit to activate our torch key because we need a quick pulse if we use a too long of a pulse it will just activate it and then deactivate it right away so coming off of this button we're going to come down two pieces of redstone dust so right here i see if i click this button our redstone dust comes on and we're going to put one right here again and if i click it again it will come on then coming off of this redstone dust we're going to put a piston facing upwards with a sand block on top of it this will create our monostable circuit so if you see if i press this we just get a quick pull then coming out of our monostable circuit we're going to put a block right next to this redstone block and put a repeater coming out of the sand block just like that and it will activate your door because anything that updates this piston will activate the door so now if we click the button on the inside the door will open up and if we click the button again the door will close and you are completely done guys so now all we have to do is just clean up the area so open up your door and then take out your blocks of choice i'm going to be using smooth sandstone and i'm also going to be using white stained clay as my walling so we're going to go ahead and place it in our floor right here so this is going to be my floor with my smooth sandstone and then i'm going to take out my white stained clay and just clean up this entire area so i don't see any of the redstone whatsoever so go ahead and do that there we go and then we're going to place in a little bit more right here so we don't see any of the redstone and then we're going to do the same thing on the front hand side as well so just putting your entire wall right here don't place anything here if your doors open up because then it's just going to push the blocks out and then place some more blocks just like that and we are completely done guys your entire door is done so if we place a redstone torch here it will close the door and if we place it back it will open up the door go ahead and walk inside and then click the button on the inside it will close the door click the button again and it will open the door as well and there you guys have it that is how you build my jeb door with built-in torch key if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe stay tuned with my newest videos all right guys peace